Hey, my name is Eric Escobar. I've been at SecureWorks for going on seven years now. I'm the wireless adversarial lead. So I, uh, I'm in charge of all of our adversarial testing when it comes to wireless. And I cyber because computers connect a lot of people to the world. Uh, so I'll explain a little bit of my background, what got me into cyber. Um, I started out going to school, I, I like problem solving. Uh, I was naturally curious about how things work and I wanted to build stuff. Um, so I thought no better than to become a civil engineer. I wanted to be out in the field, build big things. Um, you know, so that, that'd be like dams, bridges, you know, roadways, highways, all that big stuff, right? Um, that's what civil engineering is. And uh, so I was working on the field. I was a, you know, a young go-getter civil engineer, but I was out in the field away from friends and family for a really long time. And then I met somebody, uh, you know, that happened to be, um, you know, a mutual friend, a mutual acquaintance of, of mine. And he worked in cybersecurity and he goes, you know what, Eric, you're, you're pretty good at computers, even though they're just a hobby. Uh, how would you like to make the hop uh, from civil engineering into cybersecurity? And I said, you know what, I, I've i always been good at computers, um, you know, always been something that's interested me, no formal education in it. So, um, you know, sure, if you want to replace my engineering salary, like, what the heck? I want to work flip-flops to work and work remotely and work from home. Um, that sounds great. Uh, and so I made the hop and that hop into cybersecurity was um, in a defensive role. So I was guarding a corporate network from threat actors. I was guarding a corporate network from nation states. You know, uh, we had we basically in charge of defending our entire corporate network, um, you know, from all the bad things that, that are out there on the Internet. Right. Um, and so that was an awesome role. I got to learn the lingo. I got to understand and learn, you know, what where uh, a threat actor could could lurk in their network. Um, you know, I basically just got a crash course in, in you know, uh, um, what it looks like to be a defender on a network. Uh, then I went to a conference and I met um, somebody at Securus that goes, Eric, your job is pretty awesome, but what if you did flip that on its head and became an adversary if you were on the offensive role? And so I was like, well, that sounds pretty cool. Um, and basically, so that's where I am now at SecureWorks is uh, my goal is to try and break into our different customers um, for the express purpose of, of making them more secure. And having had that uh, experience as a blue teamer, as someone in the defensive role, um, that gives me the visibility and insight to know like, hey, this is where I can uh, evade detection. This is typically what somebody who is looking at logs is gonna look at. Um, you know, these are the ways that, that I would try and catch myself. And so it's that game of cat and mouse. Um, which is pretty fun because I feel like, you know, you're playing a, a constant game, um, you know, back and forth, which keeps things interesting to have that natural, you know, curiosity of like, how, how can somebody detect and evade um, and, and just go back and forth in that realm. Basically, when I when I continue through here at SecureWorks, I got several different certifications. So like OSCP, Offensive Security, those are um, some big certifications that we like to have on our team because it gives you good breadth and general understanding of what's out there. Uh, we have very specialized, um, you know, certifications such as grid certification, which is like testing operational technology and like uh, you can think of like manufacturing systems and basically anything that um, connects to, uh, you know, a computer to a physical piece of equipment in the world. You can think of what operational technology is. Um, but but if you if you can dream it, we have certifications, um, you know, from medical device testing, wireless testing, you know, very specific, you know, application testing. Um, whatever it might be. And so that's that's kind of where like my background in cyber and all that stuff um, works out is that, uh, you know, it's it's the wild west, it's the new frontier. And really it's a lot of the time it's learning by doing. And it's, a lot of times there's not a certification for a specific type of, you know, um, threat or a specific type of attack because it was made a couple of months ago, right? I, I use, um, you know, several different types of exploits that, you know, have just been discovered in the past year or so that never even existed or were known to exist, um, you know, even just a few years ago, so. So what does a regular day uh, entail for me here at SecureWorks? Um, I'm from the adversary group. What that means is that we try and break into our customers on a day-to-day -day basis, really for the express purpose of if a real world threat actor comes in, we want them to be prepared and we want them to know what they're gonna see. Um, we try and break into, you know, our, our customers are from a wide variety of industries, from aerospace to manufacturing to, uh, you know, education, government. I mean, you, you name 
a industry out there, we have broken into them at some point in time um, in our day to day and what we do. So it could really mean that I'm cracking passwords for uh, a CEO to get into um, you know, their mailbox. It could mean that I'm calling up a doctor at a hospital trying to uh, vish credentials from them. It could mean that I'm breaking into a, a library system trying to gain access to uh, you know, different user accounts. Um, really, it is, it is completely different. And that's what makes my job pretty awesome because at any given day, I'm seeing the inside of a brand new domain, a brand new network um, and trying to compromise it. And again, when we try and compromise, it's not just to say, oh, wow, check out what we're doing. It's to show, hey, this is what a real world threat actor does. This is what a real world nation state does. Um, and to be able to articulate that risk to, to our customers and, and show them, hey, this is what could happen. And we wanna make sure you have the, the tools, the training, the headcount, um, everything that you need uh, to put up a great defense. Uh, so what are some of the biggest challenges that I face in my role at SecureWorks and how do I address them? Well, like I mentioned, I'm on the adversarial team. Um, so every day we're trying to break into our different customers and um, that that basically comes with a, a double-edged sword, right? It, it's awesome if I, an attacker, am able to compromise them and gain access to their sensitive you know, information, mostly because then they can prevent that from happening when a real-world threat actor comes in. But trying to demonstrate that risk, trying to you know not have it look like a, a bad report card, that's the hardest part of my job. And, and honestly, like I have the easier part of the job. These you know these customers, they have to defend their network. Uh, they have to think of every possible way that, that a threat actor or an attacker can get in. Me as as an attacker, as a you know a simulated adversary, um, I just have to find one way in, right? I just have to find one single way in, uh, and the defenders have to be, be able to 24/7 detect and alert. Um, you know, across their entire perimeter and, you know, across, you know, everything that's internal to their network um, and then in the cloud. So I just have to find that one way in. And so basically walking, um, you know, our different customers through, you know, what I was able to do, how I was able to do it and, and show them that the work that we're doing is to give them ammunition so that they can basically get more training, more tools, more headcount, you know, uh, uh, good XDR platform that can protect somebody like me. That, that is my biggest challenge is trying to articulate that risk in a way that is constructive and, and not scary, right? Because I don't want to come come in here and, you know, have it be like a ghost story where I'm like, ah, I hear all these, you know, scary things and try, you know, I try to demonstrate risk in such a way um, that basically says like, look, you know, this is, this is a task that you can do. This is a way that we can partner with you and make it so that your network is resilient. Uh, what traits does a person need to be successful in cybersecurity? Um, I think just being curious. Uh, you know, I come from a background of civil engineering, which is designing buildings, bridges, roads, all that fun stuff. Um, that's what that hard hat is for in the background right there, back in the day. Um, and really just that curiosity of, of like being an engineer, understanding and wanting to understand how things work. Um, just being curious will, will, you know, basically be escape velocity for your career in cybersecurity because, um, you know, there's different attacks, there's different threat actors, there's different models, there's different paths and ways and all these different things that um, if you're not naturally curious, you're just gonna you're just gonna grow stagnant, right? There's not gonna be um, you know, that that natural inclination to want to know more and want to find a different path or find a different way. Um, and in my day-to-day, -day, you know, work as I'm trying to compromise our customers. Um, you know, they might have a firewall in place. They might have, you know, some detection mechanism in place. They might have, uh, you know, great security in place. And, and I, as a, you know, emulated, simulated uh, threat actor and adversary, I have to try and find my way around there. So having that curiosity to, to try and say, I wonder what would happen if, or if I do this while doing this and, you know, patting my head, uh, you know, that's going to be the way to get in. And there are some silly things that, that we do that, um, you know, that can bypass, you know, these crazy expensive security measures. Uh, and so that natural curiosity of, I wonder if I can, um, and just not giving up, those are, those are two, I think those are probably two most, uh, you know, critical things that you can have um, to be successful in cybersecurity.